Dear Mr. President, that's how Judge Jackson's then 11-year-old daughter Layla began her letter pitching her mom to the Supreme Court. The year was 2016. At the time, Justice Antonin Scalia had just died and President Obama was looking for a nominee. So with careful penmanship, Layla made a case for her mom to get the job. I, her daughter, Layla Jackson of 11 years old, strongly believe she would be an excellent fit for the position. She is determined, honest, and never breaks a promise to anyone, even if there are other things she'd rather do. She can demonstrate commitment and is loyal and never brags. Thank you for listening, Layla signs off. Today, day two of Judge Jackson's confirmation hearing was carried live on all the top networks, interrupting regular programming. This is a CBS News special report. There were fireworks when Senator Lindsey Graham went on a rant against the release of Guantanamo Bay detainees, some of whom were represented by Judge Jackson when she was a public defender. As long as they're dangerous, I hope they all die in jail if they're going to go back and kill Americans. The Republican from South Carolina stormed out. Senator Ted Cruz pressed her on critical race theory, holding up books that he says are available at the library of the Georgetown Day School, where Judge Jackson is on the board of trustees. He displayed pages from the books. Do you agree with this book that is being taught with kids that, that babies are racist? I do not believe that any child should be made to feel as though they are racist or though they are not valued or though they are less than.